Hey guys, welcome to our new how-to video. It's been a while since our last one, so it's really great to be back. To celebrate our reunion of sorts, we are learning today how to make this classic piece, the pencil skirt. This piece is, for me, a staple dolly wardrobe item because it is super easy to style. Whether you dress it down with a sweater top and leggings or dress it up with a blazer and high heels, your dolls will always be chic. So if you're keen, I invite you to check out the whole series. And for this video, I will guide you with preparing the pattern pieces, tracing them on our fabric, and cutting all the needed fabric pieces for the garments. Alright, so let's start crafting! We are starting with making sure our patterns don't rip while we're working, so we're sticking plastic tape, especially around the edges. So here I'm carving out small dashed lines between the snap place holder and the center back of the back pattern piece for tracing later. And don't forget to take note of the waistband measurement before you toss out the pattern page, okay? For this garment, I'm using a woven fabric that's soft light to medium weight. Um, any fabric that will give the garment a solid form, but without the bulk will actually work. But you can get creative as much as you want to. Now let's get into tracing these patterns. Use a pencil that will mark enough on your chosen fabric. This one I'm using is in HB since my fabric is light colored. If you're using a dark colored fabric, I would suggest a metal gel ink pen or a light colored tailor's chalk. And this one I'm tracing right now is our front panel so you can see we're tracing one whole panel. Up next are our back panels. Now use this snap placeholder on this side. of your seam allowance by the way guys. Now let's trace the other back panel, the one without the snap placeholder. Now let's measure fabric for our waistband. And before we apply our DIY anti-fray solution to the edges of our seam allowance, I'm just placing a notebook under our fabric. This is just my way of keeping my workspace feel free. So our DIY anti-fray solution is simply made of white glue and some water. There's 
no solid formula for this guys but you can start with a 1 is to 1 portion and then gradually add water if necessary the aim is to make the glue easy to spread using the paintbrush Here I'm skipping the edges that will be hidden anyways like the upper part of the skirt panels and the waistband side that connects to it. All these edges will be tucked in, sewn and hidden away forever. Let this dry. Once dry, it's ready for cutting. I'm pretty much eyeballing my seam allowance here, but you can also mark or draw yours before cutting, just for good measure. So we're done with this stage of the process, you guys. Thanks so much again for watching. I'm so glad to be back here and share with you my process. For the next video, we'll be stitching the darts and the side seams. See you in the next one, guys. Bye!